Hey friends, this is Renee from Little Village Homestead and today we're going to do a retro recipe. We're going to do a retro meatloaf. We'll be right back. Friends, this is a retro meatloaf, and uh, it's going to be great. This is going to be great. Okay, so I have got here, I've got two pounds of ground chuck. So put that in there. And then I'm going to put my onions, and i got like one medium-sized onion in here. I got one cup of breadcrumbs. I got two beaten eggs. Let me get all that out of there. Okay, I got two beaten eggs in there. I have got one quarter cup of milk. And I have got one half cup of ketchup. And I give it a little twist. I put like a quarter cup of ketchup and a half cup of uh, barbecue sauce because my family loves that. So, okay, we got all that in there. And then, while I'm at it, I'm just going to mix the spices in with it. So we're going to put, oh, I don't know, let's see, maybe about a teaspoon of, one more, about a teaspoon of garlic powder and just put a little bit of, Paprika, I don't know, I don't measure nothing. Shame on me, but okay, and a couple good grinds of pepper. Okay, oh, and we got to do a little bit of salt. Let's see here. Probably about a half a teaspoon of salt. You can use more, I don't use a whole lot of salt. And then we're going to get our gloves on and mix this up. You can mix it up with a spoon, but I'm going to mix it this way because I want it all mixed in real good. And this is a recipe that I got online from a Betty Crocker um, I, you know, I think it's 1950s. I could be wrong. It could be 1960s, but I believe it's 1950s recipe. And the only difference that I got here is I got a little bit of barbecue sauce. And I'm going to put barbecue sauce on the top of this instead of the, well, they, they do like their own homemade little barbecue sauce with brown sugar, vinegar, and ketchup. But I'm just going to do regular old modern sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce on the top. So, but there, we got it all mixed up pretty good in here. So, oops, I had forgot to, you need to set your oven to 350. This is going to bake in a 350 degree oven. Okay, so I can believe I got this all mixed up really good. Now I gotta remember my cooking spray. I gotta spray my pan. Okay. Put that up in there. Now I'm gonna start packing this in the bottom. I'm gonna move this aside and get this close so you can see. And you want it packed good and solid, good and tight in there, okay? And I got half of it in there. I 
and this is what I'm going to do. I have got hard boiled eggs. And we are going to line them in here. Let's see, let me make a little divot in the middle here. Kind of so that they can set in. There's one, two, I got five of them, but I believe I'm only going to get four in here. So I get an egg to eat. Okay, there's four eggs. See how that's in there? Ooh, that's going to be so pretty. Okay, now we're going to take the rest of this and put over that. You don't want to break your eggs or smash them down too hard, but we got to get this packed in here real good. Okay. Get the last little bit in there. There we have it. All right. I want to get this. You're going to need to put this on a tray unless you use a bigger, especially if you put something on top because you know it's going to leak over all over your oven and make a disaster. So when I bake this, I'm going to set it on a cookie sheet. So I think I've got it packed in there pretty good so there's no big gaping holes in it. And those eggs are nice and secure in there. Well, this is going to be nice. This is kind of one of those good retro meals. You know, better than the spaghetti o jello ring. Oh, my Lord, have mercy. They did eat some strange stuff back then. But, you know, that was during a period of time when they did the best with what they had. And at least they fed you. You know, people say... I always say, it doesn't have to taste good. It's just got to grub you down. So, let me get, uh, take my gloves off, get my barbecue sauce, and I'll be right back. Ooh, this is going to be so good. Put a little bit of that on there. spread it around with this one a little bit. And you know, this stuff is excellent. The next day on a cold, cold on a sandwich, my husband will have that. I'll pack that in his lunch on Monday. And it'll be wonderful. Okay, friends. There is your meatloaf. And I am going to cook this. I'm going to cover it with a little bit of foil first. And then I'll take the foil off in a little bit. But I am going to bake this in a 350 degree oven for about an hour to an hour and a half. I've never made this size of meatloaf, so don't quote me on that. But when it is done, I'll tell you how long it baked. So, okay friends, here is our meatloaf. Beautifully done, out of the oven. It's just got to cool off a little bit. And this is what we're going to have for dinner. I don't want to cut into it right now or even when it gets a little cooler because I want to be, it to be good for dinner. So I will show you at our dinner table the inside, how it looks when it's cut. But there you have it. Thanks for watching. Look at here. There's our egg and the meatloaf. It kind of fell apart when I cut cut into it, but it's, it's cool enough now. And um, I didn't want to take too much off of it because... I am going to serve it for dinner. But anyway, I thought, well, we'll have a little taste of this. See how good this turned out. Because remember, I used um, a half, or excuse me, a quarter cup of ketchup and a quarter cup of barbecue sauce in it. Now, I know I said when I was putting it together that I did a quarter cup of ketchup and a half cup of barbecue sauce. But no, it was a total of a half cup, a quarter each. Mmm. Now that's a retro meal you can enjoy. There you go, friends. I'm going to go enjoy this. Thanks for watching.